Uh, Senator, what do you make of this flight? What do you make of the fact that Russia is allowing him in and that Hong Kong let him go? What does that tell us? You know, I'm not sure what it tells us, but I, I think it's still going to be an open question how this young man's judged. I do think that when history looks at this, they're going to contrast the behavior of James Clapper, our national intelligence director, with Edward Snowden. Mr. Clapper lied in Congress in defiance of the law in the name of security. Mr. Snowden told the truth in the name of privacy. So I think there will be a judgment because both of them broke the law and history will have to determine. I do think for Mr. Snowden, if he cozies up to the Russian government, it'll be nothing but bad for his name in history. If he goes to an independent third country like Iceland and if he refuses to talk to any sort of formal government about this, I think there's a chance that he'll be seen as an advocate of privacy. If he cozies up to either the Russian government, the Chinese government, or any of these governments that are perceived still as enemies of ours, I think that uh, that'll be a real problem for him in history. So you are sympathetic to Edward Snowden. I wonder if you heard uh, Senator Schumer say earlier, this, this guy is no hero here. Uh, he is not, you know, some Martin Luther King telling the truth, civil rights kind of guy, uh, that he, in fact, uh, whether you like it or not, there are laws there, and he released information uh, that he was not supposed to release. So do you think he shouldn't be prosecuted? Um, what do you think? No, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that Martin Luther King was uh, kept in jail and accused for 30 days. I think he was never threatened with life in prison. And so the, the penalties are disproportionate to it. So I think you can't quite compare them. But I would say that Mr. Snowden hasn't lied to anyone. He did break his oath of office, but part of his oath of office is to the Constitution. And he believes that when James Clapper came in March, our national director of intelligence came and lied, that he was simply coming forward and telling the truth that your government was lying. And this is a big concern of mine because it makes me doubt the administration and their word to us when they come and talk to us because they have now admitted that they will lie to us if they think it's in the name of national security. I, I believe that the, the, the director Clapper has said that when he said the U.S. didn't spy on Americans or gather information wittingly, that he was talking about the prison program. But I... I I want to move you on. No, to he, 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 admitted that, he admitted that he lied, and he said he was saying the least of untruthful things, so he did admit that he lied.